All right, hey, what's up guys? Gratuitous here. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to update the firmware of your M-Audio Oxygen Pro. This is for the 25, the 49, and the 61, and I'm just gonna walk you through uh, how to update it, okay? Before getting into the video, if you guys would like to learn FL Studio, check out my free book called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. So simple it becomes creative. Get it by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. Uh, all we're going to do is we're just going to go M Audio Oxygen Pro driver and you're going to go to the drivers and updates. And then from here, uh, you just want to select uh, keyboard controllers. Just type uh, when you click one, hit O. It'll get you down there a little quicker. And we're going to go to the Oxygen Pro. Um, select whatever model you have and then I am on Windows 10 still at the moment okay and 64-bit most people should be on 64-bit nowadays I'm gonna hit show results you gotta scroll down and you can see that this one is for the Oxygen Pro so let's just click into it so we're gonna come down here if you agree to the terms and conditions you can download it and I'm gonna open that up okay and then so now the best way to usually install something is to extract it so I'm just gonna drag that folder right to my desktop and so we're going to open that up so you are presented with a readme which we will read in just a second you are also have uh this folder so what we're mainly looking at is just this firmware um, executable file so let's open up the readme this is going to tell us exactly what's going on there is the windows update there's also the mac update keep scrolling you can see the change history like the change log from the very very first one this is where they supposedly fixed that pitch wheel, which it did not fix it in FL Studio. Um, and then here is the new firmware. So important. So close all open applications on the computer you will be using to perform the update. Use the Oxygen Pro preset editor to back up and save any presets or DAW presets you've created. If you have the preset editor, it's saying make sure to uh, save your presets of any custom ones that you've created, okay? Uh, this update will revert your Oxygen Pro to the factory settings. Connect your Oxygen Pro to the computer, to the USB port, and ensure the Oxygen Pro is powered off. So let's just turn that off. Okay, so Oxygen Pro is off. Let's go back. And then the computer is on. <laughs> uh, on your Oxygen Pro keyboard, uh, press and hold the shift and the two bank keys. So that is shift is right here. And then we have the two bank arrows. So we, we are going to be having to hold those down and then we are going to turn on the Oxygen Pro. So once we power on the Oxygen Pro, it's going to say that it's like in an updating mode. We will launch the firmware executable file here. Uh, Windows prompt may appear saying if we trust the application, I'm just going to say I trust it, select yes, and then wait for the updates to happen. Once the firmware updater is open, click the folder, then locate uh, the Oxygen Pro V2.1. Uh, so if I go back, it would be nice if they would actually just say it like the actual full word, like so the dot DAT, but I'm assuming it is this installation file. Once the update is complete, okay, we are just going to press OK. We're going to turn off the Oxygen Pro. And then when we are turning on the Oxygen Pro, we have to hold down the octave minus and plus buttons. So again, so step one is to uh, turn off the Oxygen Pro and the computer is obviously on on your Oxygen Pro. So hold down the shift and the two arrows and I'm going to turn on the Oxygen Pro now. OK, while continuing to press and hold. So we're seeing the Oxygen series updating and then the Oxygen Pro firmware is what it's saying to open just like this. So it says open the update file, product model, software version, it never said anything like that. What we're going to do is I am going to find this file and a really fast way to do that is we could just click this copy and then paste that into here. OK, um, we're going to go back to the Oxygen Pro 49 and then that one right there. Just go open. OK, so that that's good. It just loaded it all for us. We don't need to enter in any information. And then now we should just hit update. It said it will just take like a moment. And uh, one thing I just want to say is if you guys have any questions about the Oxygen Pro, you feel free to let me know. I have my camera set up at the moment. So if you have any questions, I can just create a quick series on, you know, how to install it, how to use it. I've still been having a great experience. All right, so when I was updating it, it actually froze. So it stopped at about begin. I waited for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, because on a previous firmware update, it was very, very quick, like you just saw right there. So what I did was I ended up just deciding I'm just going to hit the X and hope for the best. Hopefully nothing happened. But I closed the firmware updater, reopened it, reloaded the file, hit update again, 
and then it worked normally. So I'm going to close this now. Now I'm going to power it off. And then when I turn on my Oxygen Pro, uh, we are going to hold down the octave buttons like you see right here. This is going to be the test. So I'm going to hit down these two buttons. We're going to turn it on. And uh, let's see. So it says I'm, I'm Audio Oxygen Pro set up while I'm on uh, Windows. And then now we don't have anything like we had before. But I will just select, let's just say FL Studio, because that's what I use. Okay, so looks like we're back to normal. I'm going to go to preset mode. So again, I have written a free MIDI script for the Oxygen Pro here. And I also have a premium template which you guys can purchase on the website there. It's just $9 and it gets all the pads, all the knobs and all the sliders set up for FL Studio usage. Um, I'm just going to actually import that in here just so you guys can see it because it's going to get this keyboard back up and running because right now that's why they warned you to res um, to back up all your presets, your custom ones, because uh, it is gone. Okay, so I'm done with the firmware. We can close out of that. This is the folder that you would get if you were to purchase the um, this premium preset from me. You don't need to have it. I just want to show you how I set up the Oxygen Pro for FL Studio usage. So this template is only for FL Studio users, okay? So if you don't use FL Studio, then you're done in this video, essentially. So. When you purchase, you're going to come into here. Uh, this is one that I'm currently working on. It's going to allow you guys to switch between presets within VSTs really, really quick. So for example, if you're in Flex or uh, Nexus or Serum, but you can see this one here is the free MIDI script. You guys can get this one on the image line forums. That's to do with FL Studio. So that stuff hasn't changed from the firmware. If you have the, the 49, you guys are just using this one at the moment. I'm just going to load in mine and then I'll sh even show you maybe just a quick sneak peek. So I'm going to load the preset. I have to find it. So I'm just going to come here, uh, control C, control V, hit enter. And then I want this grab presets one. The software has loaded it, but we need to send it into our MIDI keyboard. So we're going to come here to file. I'm going to send that preset and I'm going to send it into preset one. Okay. So not into RAM, into preset one. And the reason I do that is so that it's nice and easy to access. So when you use this, um, Oxygen Pro with FL Studio, you want to hold down the preset button. So you want to be in preset mode, not the DAW mode. And you can see I'm in Grat. So now if I select it, we should be all back to normal, which is good. And now I am going to open up FL Studio. And let me get my my headphones on. All right, so let's just load up. Let's just say Flex here, because I know that this is working with Flex. And so I'll just hit some keys. OK, so all sounds are fine working normal. I'll check out the pitch in just a second. I'm just going to hit F10. We're going to go to the MIDI in three. So Oxygen Pro, that is the free MIDI script you guys have available to you. With the premium one, uh, you guys will also get this Oxygen Pro plugins one and we add this on to the Oxygen Pro. So again, don't worry about this right now. Um, you would just have it set up like generic controller. And then the MIDI in three is the free MIDI script. All it's doing is just getting the loop button so that we can change song and pattern mode. That's the reason why that MIDI script exists. There's really not much more to it than that. But here, this allows us to change the presets, which I'll share in just a second. So let's see on pitch. Okay, pitch isn't working on that. Let's just load up Nexus. It's nice and visual. So the mod and the pitch wheel don't work at all. Usually they were mapped automatically. So let's just um, come here. We'll move this one. So we can get that working. All right, so I'm just going to leave the pitch and the mod wheels for now. I never use them, but I was just kind of sharing that with you there. So if you map it, it seems that it works fine. All right, but usually by default, it should load for you. I would have to look into that. But like I said, I never use the pitch and mod wheel. I'm always just focused on playing keys. And at the moment, I have it set up on the pads to change the presets. I was trying to get the knob to do it. It was a little tricky because it's what's called an endless encoder, whereas the other knobs are absolute encoders. So this is how it works. We can just go, um, you just hit the pad to, to change a preset. And again, I don't use the pads, the, the drum pads to make beats. I always just use my keys or I would click in my steps. That's just my workflow, okay? And yeah, so I've set it up right here. So you can see if I'm changing a preset, you hit the one pad to go to the next preset. So that is flex which is nice, 
right? We can change presets nice and fast. We don't have to go back to our key to our mouse or anything like that. It works in Silent One, I believe. So watch, we'll load up Silent One. So actually, I think we have to load up a bank. So we're going to go bank. And I have some uh, premium uh, Silent One banks. If you're interested, just visit the website. It's gratuitous.com. So this is the base. And yeah, so there you go. So we're able to... Uh, All right, so yeah, so the pads work for changing presets right off of the MIDI keyboard, which is super awesome. So here is a uh, pigments. Now, I wasn't able to change the preset just like this. This is what I would like to do, but um, FL Studio has like a MIDI command to change the preset, but you can see that um, it doesn't change that way in the synth. So you actually have to come into the library. And if you were to select one, uh, let's just go to my sound banks and uh, I have a free, this is a totally free bank. You guys can find it on YouTube. It's called impressions. And if we come here, you can see that if we play, okay, watch now we just hit the pad and it'll, it'll let's go to another one. All right, so that is pigments. So you gotta actually go through the preset list, but it automatically selects it. You can go up and down. You actually have to be focused in the preset window. Again, I'm still testing it. And I just wanna kind of give you guys a little sneak peek. So here with Serum as well, you guys can come here to the list, all right? And this is where you can select all the different presets. So let's just smooth like this one. I also have uh, a free serum bank, which you guys can find on YouTube. Just go gratuitous free serum bank. I also have a um, quite a few premium serum banks as well. All right, so again, we just go, we can select the different presets right from the pads. Another reason I like the pads is it's kind of quiet. Whereas watch if I use the knob, it's pretty loud, right? And um, like, I would like to be able to use the knob to scroll through presets and select it. The pads are kind of nice too, right? Okay, and then the last one, this one was tricky to figure out because I really use Nexus a lot. I highly recommend to new producers starting up, they wanted to learn to make beats. Using a rompler is going to teach you how to make beats really, really good because you can just quickly select high quality presets. Another thing too with a rompler is like you, you will not get the same kind of sounds out of like a synth. Okay, so for example, if we're talking about um, Silence One or Serum, something like Nexus, like you have like real pianos, you cannot get real pianos out of a synthesizer. Okay, same with like classical kind of sounds like horns and brass and strings that comes with like a rompler something like nexus or flex or uh, omnisphere all right and so but the biggest reason why i set up these pads is because like i was saying if i'm playing presets i want to be able to go through the presets from the midi keyboard and with midi scripting i looked into it and it took, it took quite a while to figure something out but the nexus so Nexus is a little tricky when it came to this, because like I said, I would like to be able to just click here and switch between presets, but it doesn't work like that for some synths or some uh, VSTs. So you can see that if I'm selected on a preset, we can go up and down and it does not auto select, which is nice because if you wanna go down a couple, you can do that and then we can hit enter to select it. Okay. But now here was the problem. I was like, okay, well, we're in the preset window. How do I hop over to the categories and how do I hop over to the, to the folders if I wanna go through different sounds? Um, and so we can, um, I actually have it set up for the other uh, two right here. You can see that we can go through it. All right, so this is how it works. And we can kind of go up, we can go through different pianos, we can go through all. Um, let's go through some classical and then I can, I can go over to the next preset window and we can go down. And there you guys go. So Angel's Heart, very beautiful. Right, so there you guys go. So that's just a little uh, sneak peek into what's coming if you guys have purchased the uh, Premium Oxygen Pro preset. Uh, if you guys got any questions about the Oxygen Pro, uh, please just 
let me know if you have questions, all right? I have the camera set up. I can create some training videos. If you guys want to learn to make beats, if you guys want to learn the piano, visit the website. I have a piano course. I have a B, uh, FL Studio Beginners course. If you guys are struggling with drum loops, check out my Safe Spots drum loop curriculum. This video was just sharing with you how to update the firmware. Really happy with this MIDI keyboard, especially for the price and for FL Studio usage. You have all your knobs, all your sliders. Everything works pretty good in FL Studio. The MIDI script, the, the free one, just gets that loop button working. The premium one just gets your sliders, your knobs, as well as it's just all kind of color coded, nice and easy as you go through different banks. And then also if you're a part of the platform, if you have the Oxygen Pro, you kind of get like the best experience. All right, so I'm Gratuitous. I'm a recognized FL Studio trainer. If you would like to learn FL Studio, just visit the website, it's gratuitous.com. If you would like to start slow, just check out my free beat making book. It's called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. So simple, it becomes creative. You can access it by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. All right, visit the website, it's gratuitous.com to learn how to make beats with FL Studio. I'll talk to you in the next one.